welcome back. In the previous part, we decided to help out Mitten over there, the one with the wings, and see if we could find a seed to basically stop her eating trash. Play. Yep, that's that's basically what we're doing. We're, we're, we're trying to fa find a way for Mitten to stop Play. eating trash, which is basically her favorite food. We got bigger flowers this time, which is good. I'm almost like 10 levels above them. I think my, my leveling up session, it basically just involved going to the same map over and over and over again and just killing groups of enemies, a bit like I'm doing now. Just over and over again for like three hours. I, th I think I was listening to um, QI on BBC iPlayer, which is only available in the UK, so if you live outside the UK, you, you can't use BBC iPlayer, but well, it sucks for you, really. It's all the BBC programs. I don't know, you might be able to use the iPlayer outside the UK. I never tried, because I, I live in the UK, so it would be quite difficult for me to figure out a way to try, really, wouldn't it? I suppose I could use a VPN, but it's odd using a VPN to just try and see if I could use it in a different country. I, I, like, my mind isn't like, yeah, of course I'm going to try that. Alright, what's this over here? No idea, it died. It died. What bling? It's basically like, because I'm so high level, I'm just running at things and just hitting them. Apart from this one, because it's obviously going to be a bit stronger. Yeah, where I'd, no I'd normally just carry on, wouldn't I, and run past things, but it's like, because they're just simple, almost one hits, almost, I mean, it's not exactly, it's like, just a few hits and they're dead, I'm actually just proceeding onwards while killing stuff, so this leveling up may last me a while as a result. Oh, I hate those bomb things. I end up with that situation, I've got to learn to press X at the right time, really. So I avoid yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's my only issue with, with this game now. I say issue. I I am loving this game though. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. one thing I've been saying on Twitter yeah. Yeah. recently. Yeah. Yeah. So how much I'm loving this game. Like all the games I've played this year, they've either been pretty much what I expect or a bit worse than what I expected. Like especially um, Dark Rose Valkyrie. Yeah. I think that's the biggest disappointment this year. Oh no, probably actually, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda. That's probably the the biggest one, the biggest disappointment this year, really. It's just like, uh, it could have been so much more. It could have been so much more, but it wasn't. 100 day roll, very nice. Hello, Q. Am I meant to be up here? I don't know, but got a chest out of it. Yeah, and about. But this game. I know, I know it came out several, I think it was several years ago or last year. I think it was last year, wasn't it, this came out. The Revival Edition, anyway, but the original game came out several years ago. Like, two or three or something like that. I'm not 100% I'm not on that, obviously. But out of the games I've played this year, this one's been the most surprising for me. It's like, I, I expected to enjoy it, but not as much as I have. Like, when I first started this game, it was very, very slow. Very slow. It was like, hmm... I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this one as much as I hoped. I thought it was going to be one of those ones where it's like, Oh no, I, I didn't end up enjoying it. Oh no. It's like, nope. Complete opposite. The more I'm playing it, the more I'm enjoying it. It, it just... The story, the characters, how it's all evolving. It's just so fun. I don't know what it is. It's just so fun. I mean, I'm not the best person ever at the game, but I'm still enjoying myself. That's the thing. And as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's that's the important part. I find anyway. I mean, I'm not going to be a professional Witch and Hundred Night player, am I? Is that even a thing? Is there is there an esport for this game? It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I don't know how you do it, but it'd be interesting. Had a cue. Right, so there's a caterpillar over there. See if we can get you before yeah, yeah. anything happens. There we go. Handle that much better than I have previously. So do I need to just activate the pillar? I mean, there's a scene. Oh. Well, the scene moved. Am I not meant to be just chasing after the scenes, it seems? Koopo, indeed. 47 on the stomach stop. What, bling? 
So I got all this all the way over here for nothing. But I say for nothing, we, we did get a um a pillar activated. That that is something. We can't can't deny that, can we? We we did get something out of it. Right, so how do I get where am I gonna go? All the way back there? Wait, did I get a seed off that then? Is that what happened? I think I think that's what happened, isn't it? I got a seed and didn't realize. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy speaking. That's basically what happened, isn't it? The, the scene is go back to where... Yeah. Yeah, you, you get the idea. You get the idea. I, I've done it. Is basically what happened. It was probably on the caterpillar. It'd be the little thing it dropped, wouldn't it? I picked it up, didn't I? Yeah, I was too busy, like, singing the praises of the game that I, I wasn't paying attention to the game. It's a profound seed. Thank you so much. Hundred Knight gives... Lucini the Profound Seed. Yeah, good. This time it doesn't say I lost it. Now for me to cup up, cup up, cook up my speciality. I combine cook and up into one word. Keep doing that. Keep combining words. Lucini pulls a milk quiche from his bag and gives it to the Hundred Knight. Milk quiche acquired. I always carry one around so I can eat it whenever I get hungry. That's a good idea. I used to eat whenever the sand sheep would stop to graze. So this has been a tough lifestyle transition. Okay, Princess Mitten, please eat this. Wow, if I eat this, my stomach will be profoundly full, right? I like her music though. Wow, my, my stomach feels so very full. I'll never eat trash again. So will the prince like me now? Not quite yet. Next we have to do something about this stench. But surely if she, um... Is it tasty? But yeah, surely if she stops eating trash, that means she stops going to the trash, then the stench will disappear. Or do we want to get rid of it quickly? Which would require to, you know, give her a bath, essentially. Stench. What's that? Is it tasty? Um... Hmm... Well, how to put this... Mitten, you smell terrible. What? I... Smell? Yeah, honestly, it's nauseating. It's like you've never taken a bath in your entire life. It's gonna be like, what's a bath? Don't say this to brag, but there are no baths here. You've got a face that is bragging, but all right. Yeah, obviously. This is the middle of nowhere. Did you say something? N nope. Uh, a quick solution is to make a perfume strong enough to mask your smell. The strongest perfume known to man? Oh dear, a, a, a Romani? No idea. Should definitely overpower mitten stench. Oh dear, a, yeah. Requires us to find and press the liver of a magic beast called the Romani gel. The what? Hydra Knight, could you obtain a liver from a gel, please? Sure thing! Thank you. Please and thank you. To show my appreciation, I'll give you my emergency rations. Please get the liver from the gel. They live somewhere in this area. I'm sure everything lives in this area. I don't think it's a particularly dangerous magic beast, but better safe than sorry. Muck out. Occupa. Occupa. Hey, Hundred Knight, I'm not going to bother meddling in whatever you two are trying to do. But remember that your primary duty is to release the swamp for the pillars. From the pillars, even. As long as you keep that in mind, you can do whatever you want. Well, I assume the two are going to combine at this point. Right, map. Where's the scene? Over there. So, we pretty much want to head up to that pillar and then just head towards that. Right, so let's go to this pillar. And we'll fast travel. Oh, between pillars. Oh, that's the one I want. But yeah, th this is how much I, I am in love with this game. And this is the thing, Metallia as well. She is a fantastic character. Like, wouldn't want to be friends with her in real life, obviously. It's that sort of thing where it's like, I love the character in the story, in the setting that she's in. Outside of that, she's a terrible person. Absolutely terrible. But I love her in this. She's so fun. She's so fun. Which is why 
I've got on the way to me a Nendoroid figure of Italia. Because I know there is one. See, that was more XP, that one. I still destroyed it. Yeah, I'm probably annihilating things. But yeah, so I've got a little little figure. It's very tiny, very tiny, of Natalia heading to me. Because she's such an awesome character that I... I, I basically see figures as sort of like reminders. It's like, imagine buying souvenirs from where you've been and then you present them like on shelves and stuff like that. For me, it's like I almost see like figures as mementos of games I've played and characters I've enjoyed and situations and stuff like that. So it's like, that's why I have Mass Effect, that's why I have Nep ones. That's why I even have some Assassin's Creed ones. It's like, yes, I didn't enjoy the Ezio story, so I've got a figure of Ezio. Stuff like that. It's like, I've got one of Nathan Drake. I've got one of Deadpool. Some of these I haven't opened. I've got several of Link. So it's like, yeah, of course. Like, I'm, I'm going to get one of Medallia. She's, she's one of my favorite characters now. But I, I kind of want to see if I can get, like, there's a, there's a rare figure that I want to get of Medallia. And I want to see if I can get it. All right, there's a pillar around somewhere over here. There we go. Because I'm clearly heading the wrong way. Right, the reason I want to get this, though, is because I have seen what's happening with my GKL. So we'll get that back up. See, this is the advantage of killing things, actually. So I can get my GKL back up quite easily. So let's put the attack up as well. We'll destroy everything in our path, then. Look at that. It's just going to annihilate everything. Right, so let's have a look at the map, make sure we are going the right way. It doesn't seem like we are, but it could be that it swings round up here. So I don't know. Jeez, we're just annihilating everything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it swings round. Hello? Level are you? 25? Easy. Easy. Right, back off a bit. And Jinjo! Yeah, very, very easy things here now. It's, it's just like, yep, yeah, yeah, you're dead. Right, across the bridge. Don't know if this. Oh, it's just a way out. Why would you give? Why would you put a rock in the way of the way out? What's the point in that? There is no point. It just makes me think there's like some super duper secret there that's worth getting, and there isn't. Oh, it builds my hopes up. Oh. That hasn't happened in a while. That's because I was attacking, wasn't it? So I'm actually running through things now because I went the wrong way. Ooh, just got pain in my lower right side. Probably sitting wrong. It's like my posture's going all askew. That's the only thing I can think of. Notice this one's a special one, so it's like I definitely want to get that. I'm gonna check space 648. Jeez, it's not bad at all, really. But yeah, it's, it's only a, a petite Nendoroid that I'm getting because there isn't like a proper normal sized Nendoroid, and it's not a jumbo one. I still want to see if I can get the uh, jumbo Hatsune Miko. M Miko, Miku, Nendoroid. Why, it's a hundred night. To come all this way must have been quite a tiring trek for you. Not really, it was all right. Mokyo. Mokyo. Why am I here? You must be wondering. As it happens, I'm in the middle of my routine field work. Yes. This area's vegetation is markedly different than what can be found in Master Malia's forest. Fascinating. Allow me to excuse myself. I have felt as though someone's eyes are piercing my back for a while now. It's a hundred night. I hope that you return safely. What is he up to? He keeps appearing in places. We still don't know why he killed Metalia and brought her back to life. He's up to something. And so is Malia. That's, that's as much as I know. Stupid Arlecchino, making all that way without saying a word to me. This place is really far from the swamp. 
He thinks he can do whatever he wants as long as he calls it field work. Loyal butler, right. Leaving his master like this. I should be more insulted. But you're not? Huh? This feeling. Hello? There's a chest there. This is what happens when doggoos take drugs. Yes. Hey, Hundred Knight. There's a pillar in that area. Think it's a coincidence? I mean, it's coincidence, sort of, but also a contrivance. Yes. I bet that the gel you need to find is the protector. It's a bit too convenient, don't you think? Yes, it is. Huh. I guess it doesn't matter. The pillar does, though. Crush the protector and make that pillar bloom. Right, I'm gonna guess with magic on this one. Just a guess, you know. Right, so let's go number two. Nope, I was wrong about that. Right, let's try... Hardly effective slashy weapons then. Right, so what's the best in terms of torture? Hmm. I think I'm still gonna go with like the Casario. Casario? I feel that like they're, they're good at attacking. So it's just like, it'll make it nice because they can take out the little ones for me while I focus on the big one. So you just have a bit of slashing weakness. And some of my weapons that I've got on weapon set one are slashing. A few are magic, which which isn't helpful at all, obviously, but I flew up. Flew, I flew. Oh god, I've just noticed my health. I, I was trying to get to the other menu. I became too confident and was not looking at the poison. That was my issue. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Not looking at the poison. Complete, completely my own fault. Oh, I am an idiot sometimes. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. Right, so where are we? Where are we? All I had to do was heal. That's the thing. All I had to do was heal. Dear, oh dear. Well, we'll go back. I'll do it properly this time. Pretend that that didn't happen. Oh, look. We're coming up here. Something about Hatsune Miku, Jumbo, and Android. You know, a hundred night. You're immortal, so I won't tell you not to lose. Aren't you slacking off a bit? I was. I was very overconfident. And need to not become overconfident in this, really. As your master, I'm ashamed that my legendary familiar could lose to something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't waste your time thinking. Hurry up and beat that thing senseless. Yeah, like I should have done the first time. Oh dear. That was terrible. That was terrible. Alright, so look out for poison this time. That's what got me, that. So I want to stay behind it if I can. Yeah. There's overconfidence. That's literally all it was. The overconfidence. I was like, yeah, I've got this. It's easy. This is easy. So I've got poisoned again, so keep an eye on that. Not sure how I got poisoned. Is it just its blood or something? If I'm stood in its blood, does that cause it? Or maybe I've just got it by touching it or something. I don't know. But still, I'm being very careful this time. Watching my health. There we go. First time. Yeah. Piece of cake. Almost died again. Is that poison? That's that's a deadly poison, that. Mock you? Mock you. What have we got this time? The hundred nights growth resonates with Metallia's increasing magic power. Another facet has been born. Which one this time? Trick Screamer. Oh. Victoring. Victoring. Should have really used an item that gets rid of poison. That, that's really what I should have done. Again, still overconfident. Still overconfident. Oh, looks like we're going to level up again. Level 39. Nearly level 40. It's fun, that. I like that. That was fun. Even though I died, it was still fun. Still fun. Oh. There we go. We got all the way up to 10. Lovely. Do, 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 do. Still got that weed gum problem. Beep. 
beautiful. Yeah. Ah, swamps are so majestic. I love how the fragrance makes my nostrils tingle with joy. What are you sitting around for? Don't you have to rip it out its liver and take it somewhere? It has a liver though. It's like, all right, I'll go get its liver. Got it. Da 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 da. Hydra Knight pulls out the liver out of the defeated gel. You know the one. This place isn't too shabby. I think I'll take a nap here. You go and do whatever you want. They're waiting for you, right? A nap? Very well. Hundred Knight gives Lucini the liver. But is it going to be a nice fragrance? Thank you so much. Now I can make some Oh dear Ar Aramani. Aramani? Still don't know. As promised, my emergency rations. Lucini pulls creamy milk out of his bag and hands it to the Hundred Knight. Creamy milk. Mmm, so creamy. This was for emergencies when I was a shepherd, but now I get three meals a day, so it's not necessary anymore. Can't speak for the taste, but it has lots of nutrients. Try drinking it when you're feeling exhausted. All right then, time for me to make some eau de aromane. Phew, all done. Give this, give this a spray, Mitten. Lucini sprays the perfume on Mitten. Wow, okay, stop. I know how it works now. I can do it myself. This will make me smell good, right? Mitten clumsily applies perfume all over her body. Shiny now, though. So, so do I smell lovely? Sniff, sniff. Uh, no, no. You still smell awful. You said I'd smell good if I put this on. Yeah, I guess we'll have to give your body a for a washing. I guess we'll have to borrow Metallia's bath. Somehow. Have to go all the way, all that way? Can we get back here really fast? It's just you taking a bath, so I don't think it'll take too much time. Do you need to be here or so for something? Well, the prince might pass by. One time I turned around to look for food and the prince snuck past me. Don't worry, he, he won't come today. And with your body smelling like that, he'd be grossed out by you if he did happen to walk by. I, I understand. I'll go and take my very first bath. Alright, it's a plan. Let's hurry home and then hurry back. So this is a bath? I shall hop straight on in. And uh, then I'll wait outside. Be sure to scrub yourself down everywhere. Thoroughly. As Mitten settles into the bath, a tremendous amount of gas and dirt seeps out. Ooh. Hey, what's, that, what's going on? Huh? That is this. What are you idiots doing in my tub? Master, this is... Uh... It is so hot, my eyes burn! I can't bathe myself any longer! You put that buradango inside my bathtub? A fairy is one thing, but a bug like this? Don't compare me to a fairy, I'm a proud buradango! So not my point. If you don't get out of here right now, I mean, it's serious punishment time. Alright, Monokuma. S -s 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 Sorry for leaving. Dear, oh dear. Why would we come back here and not just dump her in a lake or something like that? Master was so mad. I'll have to apologize later. The prince didn't see seem to pass by today. That's so great! Oh yes, how do I smell now? 
All right, sniff, sniff. Yeah, that's a lot better. The leftover scent should be easily masked by the perfume. How wonderful, yay! Will the prince not hate me now? Let's see if there's anything else we could do. I know. Can you try not to crawl using all six feet? After all, you're able to stand up on two legs. He hates it when I crawl on all my feet? But why? Well, I mean, the prince is human. I'm assuming he is anyway. So if he walks around on two legs, wouldn't it be better if you do too? Is that so? Then flying is a no-no too? You can fly? She's got wings! Did you not notice this? Yes, I can. See? Not fast though, apparently. <sighs> How do you like this? Uh, it's a little better than crawling, I guess. But can you fly any faster? The prince would get tired of waiting if that's your top speed. Faster. I'll try. Go on, look at the speed there. Super fast. Huff, huff, I'm so tired. I can't fly anymore. What? That's it? Well, that's worthless. We need to put you from... S through some intense training. Let's do our best. What's with the wind noise? I can't. What? No! Huh? I can't go any faster. Flying is so hard. Maybe right now, but with enough practice and training. I don't want to be told that by someone who can't even fly. If I say I can't, then I can't. Why don't you try flying? What's your problem? I'm trying to help you. I didn't ask you to put me through some grueling training. That's all it is, then I'd rather just do it myself. Triple dot. Really? Well, alright. I won't bother you anymore. How about you just give the prince your support from the shadows? That was my original plan. I need your advice after all. I really will go home, you know. It's your last chance to apologize. Shut up. Go home. Grr. All right. See ya. I like how the Hundred Knight didn't leave. Oh. Very Dango Princess Mitten visits the witch's house. Lucini and the Hundred Knight must find a way to support the prince. Lucini and Mitten end up arguing about it. Will Mitten's wish ever be granted? Pro probably not. Probably not. Although, knowing this game, probably yes, actually. And knowing this game, it's probably that the prince is actually a bug as well. One of those buried dangos or whatever. You know how it goes. Black screen. What did you do to my bathtub? The, the smell won't go away. How many days do you think it's been? Uh, none, based on your life expectancy. My sincerest apologies. I scrub it down thoroughly every day, but the dirt is rather stubborn. As expected of Buridango Princess Midden. Indeed. Honestly, it was not in the cleanest of conditions before, so perhaps there is not too much to be worried about. He he seems more en enthusiastic now, doesn't he? It's just got that, a different cadence to his voice. Yes. If you have time to make snide remarks, keep scrubbing. Yuck. Can't you do something about the smell with your magic? I'm having trouble eating. I tried a bunch of spells already while you were passed out. I... I couldn't help it. With this dog nose, I just can't handle overpowering smells. <laughs> and just a few days ago, you were bragging about your amazing nose to the Hundred Nut. What? You were watching us? Maybe a little bit. Mm-hmm. You... You were spying on us. 
I thought you were cooped up in your room, depressed. Really? This stench. Ugh. I've never encountered something this stubborn. I clear out the smell, but it keeps coming back. Does that mean she's actually still wandering around somewhere? As expected of Burry Dongo Princess Mitten. And we're back to that. Anyway, Lucini isn't around. What happened? Did he go out? He took a pouch of victuals earlier and left. Victuals? Left? To where? I do not know, but he is around that rebellious age, yes. Yes. Is that okay, Metallia? He hasn't looked too happy lately. Ugh. What a pain. Hundred Knight, go find Lucini. I bet you know where he is. Yeah, pro probably with Mitten. I mean, it makes sense. But obviously, we're going to end this part here. And in the next part, we'll go what? off and Please? probably see Mitten. So, ooh, a fool's rock. So, we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.